Hi everyone, thank you so much for joining me today. So today's video is part of a WOW YouTube hop for the July 2024 release of embossing powders, fab foils and so much more. So this is the first powder that I'm going to be using today and it's called Pastiche. It's absolutely beautiful. And then we've got Vegas Gold. So I really wanted you to see on the camera but it's not picking it up. The Pastiche has almost like a marbling effect. It's got chunks of clear embossing powder, hints of gold glitter. It is so pretty. And I think it was one of my favourite powders of this release. The Vegas Gold is a really chunky gold and that is part of a duo. So yeah, we'll share more about these embossing powders a little bit later on. But for today's video, we're going to be using this stencil from A Colourful Life Designs. It's the Layered Mixed Flowers stencil and it has four parts to it. And they're really easy to line up. And I'm going to show you three different ways that we can use these stencils with the same embossing powder, but how it looks so different on different coloured cardstock. So first of all, I'm going to start with this deep red uh, card that I've got. I've just popped a little bit of mint tape underneath there just to hold it in place on my desk. And then I'm going to line up my stencil in a moment. I'm just going to run my anti-static powder bag over the card just because I've been touching it with my fingers and I want to make sure there's no grease marks on the cardstock. And then I'm going to line up the first stencil. So each of these stencils is numbered, so it makes it really easy to line them up. But of course, you can do this technique with any stencils that you've got in your stash. I've got my WOW embossing ink pad and I've got a small blending brush from Funky Fossil Designs and I'm just going to add some embossing ink through the stencil. So I find using a small blending brush works great for this but of course you could use a sponge dauber, uh, you could use um, direct ink pad through the stencil, whatever you find works for you. Now this is the embossing powder pastiche, absolutely one of my favourites. It's got all these chunky bits in. So first of all I'm tapping some of those chunky bits onto the areas that I've got the embossing ink and then I'm going to go ahead and tip over the rest of the powder. So you, the larger bits kind of sit on the top. You can give the pot a little shake or a, a mix but then yeah you want to just make sure that some of those bits get stuck on as well otherwise you're just going to end up with all the smaller powder and none of those chunky bits. So I'm just heat setting it from underneath first, just so that we don't lose any of those chunky bits. And then again, I really wanted the camera to pick this up, but it just doesn't seem to do it justice. The white powder's got these flecks of gold in, and then these chunks of clear embossing powder. It's just so beautiful. So next, I'm going to go ahead and add the second stencil. I just used the first one as a bit of a guide to help me line it up. And again, I'm just going to add the embossing ink and we will use the same embossing powder again on these um, other flowers as well. So as part of the release hop this month, WOW are given a chance uh, for you to win the whole collection of embossing powders, puff powders, fab foils and the new mixed media additives. So it's a really great giveaway this month. There'll be hops on Instagram, YouTube and also a blog hop as well. And to be in with a chance of winning, I would like you to leave in the comments below a smiley faced emoji. Also do the same on the Wow Embossing channel as well on their video. So don't forget to check that out and also don't forget to hit the thumbs up button as well. All the details of the harp will be in the description box below. Now I'm adding some um, the Crafters Workshop stencil butter here through the stencil. I'm using a paintbrush so that I get a nice thin layer and the colour of stencil butter that I'm using is fern. Now you could just use your finger here if you don't have a little paintbrush that you'd like to use. I know the Crafters Workshop have their own blending brushes for using with their stencil butters and of course you could use a palette knife if you want a thicker application. So I did set the stencil butter aside to dry and then I've brought back in the fourth layer of the stencil and this is just the centres of the flowers and I go ahead and use my wow embosser ink through the stencil again using that brush and then we're going to add the Vegas gold now this is a really chunky gold but it melts really beautifully into the white powder so it really fills out the centers of those flowers so I absolutely loved using this embossing powder and I love how that you can layer embossing powders together for different effects 
So we'll put that background to one side and I'm just going to show you how I've created another background but this time using the Peruvian Gold Fab Foil which is also new and part of the July 2024 release. So I've got some um, Tacky When Dry Gel Medium from the Crafters Workshop. So this is like a, um, it's like a stencil butter but it's a tacky glue so when it dries it stays tacky and because it's a texture paste it keeps any kind of texture bumps marks in it as well so um, I just want a smooth application as possible so I'm using a palette knife to do that and then any excess can just go back in the pot and this is one of my favorite ways of using the wow fab foils i just find the tacky when dry gel medium so easy to work with and then once it's dried clear you know that it's ready to go there's a tiny bit in the top right hand corner that's still a bit wet but i'm going to go ahead and um, foil this section now because i know i'm going to trim my panels down and it is just a tiny bit in the top right hand corner so I'm just taking the Peruvian gold out of the packaging and this is how it comes. It's like wrapped around a small piece of cardboard and then you can just roll it out, lay it flat. And then because we've got that tacky medium on there, as soon as the foil hits it, it's going to grab it. So you want to make sure that you get a really smooth finish straight away. I'm just going to add a few more pieces of foil on the areas that the, the width of the foil hasn't quite covered. And of course, this is perfectly fine to do. So don't be afraid to do this. And then I'm going to run it through my die cutting machine. And all this is going to do is just give it even pressure. And then that will transfer the foil. You don't have to do that. You can just use your fingers. But I just find putting it in between my plates, rolling it through the die cutting machine, you just get that even pressure. And then you get a lovely foiled effect. Now... This was a bit of a surprise to me when I pulled it off because those chunky bits in the embossing powder have grabbed onto the foil as well. I'm not sure why because I don't think this would work with clear embossing powder but for some reason it's stuck to all of those chunks. So all of a sudden we've now got gold spotty flowers <laughs> and I was a bit like oh no it looks a little bit like a hot mess but I really love how the gold the white uh, pops on that turquoise background so I'm going to go with it and we are going to use it and turn it into a finished card so I'm just going to go ahead and add some embossing ink through the uh, fourth layer in stencil again and I'm going to be using one of the powders from the June release this is kiwi gold uh, from the citrus quad from Seth Apter wow embossing powder um so yeah this is a gorgeous mixed media powder I'm just going to heat set it from underneath and because it's a translucent powder, which I forgot, uh, they are marked on the packet, by the way, on the bottle, you'll get that little code. And if it's got a T, it's translucent. If it's O, it's opaque. Um, also, heat setting underneath cause the um, tacky when dry gel medium to bubble. So then all of a sudden, my foil had this kind of, it lost that smooth finish and it got kind of like a spray matte look. I just thought, well, at this stage, we're just going to go with it. I re-added embossing ink on the flowers that were um, fresh on the turquoise background. So where the uh, centres of the flowers were on the white embossing powder, that kiwi gold looked fine. But where the powder hit the turquoise, you could barely see it. So I went ahead and added um, on the Nighttown Duo, I used a glass of fizz. So that was that panel. I've got a third panel that I really wanted to share with you. Again, it's the same pastiche embossing powder. I used fuchsia stencil butter. And then for the centers of the flowers, again, I'm gonna use one of the new embossing powders from Wow. This is also part of a trio and it's called Pink Ice, uh, the embossing powder that I'm using. So this is the Ice Sparkles Trio inspired by Marion Emerson. It's a glitter embossing powder and it's really, really pretty. Again, I should have thought about the colours that I was using because obviously the background's pink and this is a really pale pink. It does get a little bit lost, but I still think you get that lovely little bit of shimmer and there is a slight colour difference. So you can see it in real life, even though the camera is not picking it up that great. So now we've got our three panels all finished. I'm gonna go ahead and trim them down to three and three quarters by five inches squared. All of my cards today are gonna to be on US A2 uh, size card blanks. So they are five and a half by four and a quarter. All of my cards I've top folded, but then you'll see that I do use one of them landscape. And for the first one, I'm just rounding off the corners of the card blank and that card panel. I've got this Hello Sunshine die from Gina K Designs, and I'm gonna go ahead and use that as my sentiment for this card. 
I'm just adding some foam tape on the back of this card. This is some one mil foam tape from scrapbook.com. It just adds a tiny bit of dimension. And then I'm gonna remove the backing tape, make sure it's nice and centered on my card blank, and then we can go ahead and stick that down. For the sentiment, I'm gonna go ahead and add some foam tape to that shadow part as well, just so that it does stand out from the background. And then I'm just using some quick grab glue and my reverse tweezers just so that I can stick all of those letters down. You really don't need a lot of glue when you're doing this, just a few little dots. The sunshine word, I've die cut three times and stuck together um, off camera and then I've just stuck that down. And then that is our first card finished for today. So for the second background, I'm going to go ahead and add a vellum strip. The vellum strip is one and a quarter inches uh, wide and I'm just going to make sure that I can tuck that behind. I like to use the grid lines on my glass mat to make sure it's nice and level before I go ahead and turn it over and uh, crease the vellum and then I can go ahead and add some double sided tape just to hold that in place. I'm then going to go ahead and add some more of that one mil foam tape on the back of this card panel as well just because I think it just adding a little bit of dimension it just really adds something a little bit extra to your cards so it's definitely worth doing and if you don't have foam tape remember you can use your white card scraps as well. This is the negative from that um, Gina K Designs Hello Sunshine die so it seemed a shame to waste it and I'm going to use that as the sentiment for that card. And then for our third and final card today, I'm just going to use my magnets to hold that panel in place. I die cut a circle from the top and then I'm just going to go ahead and pop this sentiment that says just for you in the middle. This is from the Catherine Paula uh, All Occasion Sentiment Stamp Set. Again, all the products that I've used will be linked in the description box below. So don't forget to click that if you're interested in any of the products that I've shown today. Again, I'm going to go ahead and add some more of that foam tape to the back of it. And I could have turned this into a shaker if I thought about it. Uh, I do love creating shaker cards and I haven't actually made any for a while. So maybe that will be a future video. But for, for now, I'm just going to add some foam tape, a little bit of li liquid glue so that we've got a little bit of wiggle room. And then I can go ahead and stick that down on my card. It wasn't quite centered, but because we'd got the liquid glue, I could pull it back up and then re-stick it down. So these are my three cards today, really showcasing that pastiche embossing powder and how you can use the same embossing powder, the same stencil, get three completely different looks depending on the card that you choose to use as your base colour. So I really hope that you've enjoyed this today. Don't forget it's part of the Wow Hop. All the details will be in the description box below. And for a chance to win, you need to go and check out the Wow Embossing uh, YouTube channel and hit the like button and leave a comment on their video too. Thank you so much for joining me. Take care.